Good morning, my dear students. Our lesson today is a set of zeros of polynomial function. We studied the polynomial function in the first term. Set of zeros of, uh, of the function means set of values of x that makes the function f of x equal 0. For example, if I have a function f of x equal x minus 2, and I asked you to find f of 1, f of 1 means I will replace x and put instead of it 1. So the value of f of 1 will be 1 minus 2 equal negative 1. And f of 3 equal 3 minus 2 equal 1. Finally, f of 2 equals 2 minus 2 equals 0. Now, which value for x make the function equal 0? Yes, excellent. 2. So, set of 2 means the set of zeros of this function. And it's written as z of f equal set of 2. Z means set of zeros of the function f which make it equal 0. Now, let's go to our booklet page 35 and 36 and solve some exercises. Example, find the set of zeros f of x equal x power 2 minus 4. As I told you, set of zeros means the values of x that make the function equal 0. So, to find the set of zeros of this function, I have to put the function equal 0. So, my first step, put f of x equal 0. x power 2 minus 4 equal 0. If I have binomial, we can use a factorization or we can solve it as equations. So, I choose to solve it as equations, it's more easier x power 2 equals 4 and because the power here is even power so x equal positive or negative root 4 don't forget positive or negative which is equal positive or negative 2 so I have here two values for x that make the function f of x equal 0 and the last step to, to write z of f equal set of 2 and negative 2. Example 2 h of x equal x power 2 minus 4x minus 5. What's my first step? Yes, both the function equal 0. So x power 2 minus 4x minus 5 equals 0. Here I have a trinomial, so I have to I have to use the factorization method or the general formula. I choose here the factorization, and you can uh, use the calculator to help you factorize the trinomial. The factor this factorized to be x plus one and x minus five. So x plus one equals zero, or x minus five equals zero. Here x equal negative 1 and there x equal 5. So I have two values here for this function for x that makes the function equal 0. And z of h, this is my last step, z of h equal set of negative 1 and 5. Example 3. g of x equal 2x power 2 plus x minus 6. Yes, my first step to put the function equals 0. So we have to put g of x equals 0. 2x power 2 plus x minus 6 equals 0. I use the factorization because we have a trinomial. 2x minus 3 
x plus 2 equals 0. So 2x minus 3 equals 0 over x plus 2 equals 0. Here, 2x plus 2x equals 3 and x equals 3 over 2. And there, x equal negative 2. What's my last step? Yes, excellent. You have to write z of g. z of g means set of zeros of the function g equal set of 3 over 2 and negative 2. Example 4. f of x equal 8x power 3 plus 125. My first step to put the function equal 0. So I have to write x power 8x power 3 plus 125 equal 0. 8x power 3 equal negative 125. x power 3 equal negative 125 over 8. And x equal cubic root of negative 125 over 8, which is equal negative 5 over 2. What's my last step? Excellent. Z of f equal set of negative 5 over 2. Page 36, exercise 5 f of x equals 16x power 4 minus 81. Huh? What's my first step? Excellent. Was the function equals 0? 16x power 4 minus 81 equals 0. So 16x power 4 equal 81. And x power 4 equal 81 over 16. Lesson 3. I have here x power 4. If the power is even, if the power of the variable is even, we have to write positive or negative before the root. Don't forget to put positive or negative. So x here equal positive or negative the fourth root. And you can use the calculator to find the fourth root of 81 over 16 equal positive or negative 3 over 2. So, z of f here equal set of 3 over 2 and negative 3 over 2. Example 6. k of x equal 8. What is this type of the function? Yes, it's a constant function. We studied the constant function in first term. And the constant function give me a constant image for any value for x. So if I put any value instead of x here, k of 1, k of 2, k of 100, k of 0, k of 3, whatever the value of x, the answer will be or the image will be 8. So there is no values for x. I can put it and give me 0 as an image. There is no number, and I search about the set of zeros. No number and no number and no element to put inside the set means the set is empty. Empty set means the set of zeros is called 5. So here, z of k equal 4. Example 7, k of x equal 0. This is a constant function too, but listen, look at this, the image here will be 0, oh. so if I put any value for x, its image will be 0. So when I search about the set of zeros of this function and which number can be replaced by x and give me 0, I will find that all the real numbers can be replaced instead of x and give me 0. So, the set of zeros here will be r. All the real numbers give me 0. 
So Z of K here equal R. The last example, number eight. F of X equal X power two plus nine. First step, put the function equal zero. So X power two plus nine equal zero. X power two equal negative nine. The power is even, so x equal positive or negative, square root of negative 9. The square root of negative number doesn't belong to r, doesn't belong to r. So, there is no zeros for this function. I cannot find a zeros for this function, and the z of f here will be 5. So, let's summarize the, what we studied today. Set of zeros of the, any function means what is the value of the variable that makes the function equal zero. First step to put the function equal zero and start find the value of x by using the factorization. If I have a trinomial or we uh, use the um, equation step, and last step to write z of f equal set of the values for this variable. Thank you.